I'm going to Olivia Rodrigo tonight. Not relating to the ex part, embarrassing myself. I'm gonna show him places he's never seen before. Hello, hello, hello. Guys, I'm going to Olivia Rodrigo tonight. I don't even, I don't even know. Obviously I'm doing to get ready with me as I do for like every single freaking concert I've ever been to. Like if you just check my page, there's like five of them. Very excited. I actually don't know when we're leaving. So it's currently 2.17 and I'm gonna start getting ready. I am not gonna get screamed out today. They're being late. So let's start getting ready. I got my eyebrows tinted yesterday, so guess what? We don't have to fill them in, baby. And I think I'm just gonna do a very natural. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing for my makeup. <laughs> Lying. I would love to listen to Olivia Rodrigo, but I left my AirPods in the car, in my gym bag. I often do winged liner for concerts. I don't know if I want to do with I think I want to use black instead of brown. Hold on. It's also like a really raining, gloomy day, so. Sorry if the lighting's. Oh shit. Bad idea, right? Was my song last year. Not relating to the X part, but like, whenever I was going to do something for the plot, like, it's a bad idea, right? Like, this song. If I was doing it something for the plot or thinking about doing something for the plot, and then this song came on, I was like, fuck, I have to do it. That's how I related this song to myself. Oh, I but I can't. In his sheets. But I really can't remember when. Sat with the wrong guys. Who's going to start a conversation on the website? I don't know if I like the wind liner. I never can tell if I like my wing liner or not. Next is concealer. I am literally breaking out. It's because I'm on my period. It's so annoying. I don't know what to wear. I have like an idea of some stuff to wear. Oh, I should on a transition video. What is with everyone wearing red bras under the black singlets? Am I missing something here? I just realized I need to charge this phone. Guys, before going to concerts, make sure your phones are fucking charged. Oh, I don't like this foundation. I don't know. Can you see the two differences between those colors? I'm always a big fan of Kmart's makeup, except for this foundation. They did not hit the head on the mark with this foundation. So this is me checking out how it looks on camera. Do you know what the most annoying thing about doing your makeup is? Is when it looks good in like, sorry, cause I'm doing my makeup in this lighting. So it's gonna look good in this sort of lighting. And then when you open your phone, you're like, oh, it looks so bad. My favorite lip balm, that is all that's left of it. And no, if we ask, I can't just go buy another one because I have so many lip balms that have been gifted to me. So I need to start using those ones. But like, that's my favorite lip balm. Oh, last weekend, I wore makeup to an engagement party and a housing party. And you know what? You know you got yourself a good person when they tell you that your makeup, like you missed, like it's not blended properly or something. Because honestly, why did no one at the engagement party tell me my makeup was not blended properly? And then like, do you know what I mean? We gotta share this information. Like, don't fix it yourselves. That pisses me off. When my makeup is messed up and you try and fix it with your own fucking hand, piss the fuck off. Let me fix it myself. But tell me if something's not right. Don't have me walking around embarrassing myself. Like, I know my makeup skills aren't, like, great, but, like, don't have me walking around embarrassing myself. I'm good at that enough without having bad makeup. And, yes, I know I have a really bad obsession with uh, setting spray. I'm gonna use bronzer instead of contour because I'm white as shit and the contour is like really dark where the where bronzer is like a a better colour. It's also coming into summer, so I can do what the fuck I want. And yes, I know my hair looks fucking crazy right now. One time I contoured my nose badly, and ever since I've been like petrified to contour my nose. If everyone could just admire my makeup from a distance, I'd be so fucking happy. Makeup faces are the best, they're so attractive, like they just make every guy fall in love with you. Is it weird that I went from like a silent get ready with me for this now to like the chattiest talking about random shit. Boom, color is back in my face. I'm using my normal blush. Piss off. Guys, I started using Tariyami's placement, the blush. Like if you go watch my Tariyama video, I literally judge her makeup so hard while I'm doing it. And now I have to low key like steal how she does her makeup. Do you know what makeup I really want? James Charles' painted products. I just want to know if they're actually, like, good, you know? Like, I've been seeing his painted shit around, and I'm like, is it good? When you watch Get Ready With Me, do you want, like, in-depth, like, what each product that the person is using is and, like, the placement of it all? Or do you guys just, like, having someone to get ready with? Or, like, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm asking? I'm basically done my makeup, which is crazy. All that's left to do with my makeup is mascara lippy so i'm gonna do my hair normally i'm like a big curly hair girly but i'm vibing 
with maybe straight hair my hair is just like i washed it not yes yeah yesterday and it's just no on wednesday night so it's just like also is there still pink in my hair i think that that's crazy i dyed my hair pink in fucking june it's october that was like three months ago hey see my issue with having my hair just out and straight is like how flat it is on top it's giving nothing. Yoo-hoo! Dry shampoo! There it is. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? I feel like I just pulled a bit of hair across. I mean... Oh, I don't know. So I feel like figuring out what the fuck to wear is the next thing before I do my mascara and my lippy. I like leaving mascara and lippy to like the last minute before I leave. All right. Thoughts on the bottom half, which I feel like everyone's wearing anyways. Some fishnets. This is the only definite to the outfit. I'm thinking these shorts. Now these shorts are literally the shortest damn shorts I think I own. These are these are booty, these are micro. Don't know how I'm gonna feel. On the top half, we have three options. So we have just like a black singlet, a fully black outfit. Maybe I'll copy the girls on TikTok and do like the red bra peeking out. We have a white singlet top, which I could write something on the front of in permanent marker because I don't really wear this anyways. And also it was like five bucks when I bought it. The only thing is a lot of tum tum. It's gonna be on display if I have like the micro shorts and this. And then third option is like this top. Or the other option for a top is just wearing like one of the singlets and then buying a merch shirt and then wearing that. This is the shorts and the fishnets. This is what I mean by they're really short. I don't know if I should like fix the fishnets so that like you can't see them or if I should leave them so you can see them. I do like you really like this outfit but I don't know if it's like Olivia Rodrigo concert vibe i don't know i do really really like this outfit though second option and then potentially write something on the the singlet or we have like fully black this is low-key giving what i want to tell while i'm making my mind up i'm gonna do my mascara and my lippy. lately i've been loving my better than sex mascara again but she's kind of old oh i think i'm gonna take a hairbrush though if i'm gonna have my hair i don't know it doesn't really even make a difference really with a mascara. My um, Ilya fucking multi-stick. Y'all know this is my favorite. I don't know what to wear my top off. Maybe leaning towards the white singlet top. Guys, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm ruining the shirt and writing bad idea. Right, question mark. I'm doing it. Look, it was a rush DIY job, but this is the finished look. I don't know Doc Martens, otherwise I would be wearing them. My DIY bad idea shirt that's probably gonna get covered up anyways, but that's fine. I DIY it in like two seconds and it's just to be a little more on theme. All right, we're on the way and Talia, I just, I'm forcing Talia to show you this because it's just too funny. I brought Joshua Bassett because I'm showing, I'm gonna show him places he's never seen before. Um, he's never been to Kudos Bank. I don't think he's ever been to Sydney, Australia at all. And he's definitely never been to the Guts Tour. So we've got, three of him so he can experience it three times all at once. 